Hello, hello. Thank you so much for having me tonight. My name is Lisa. I am one of the owners of The Relief Room, located in Omalta, New York. And just so I can interact with my audience a little bit, if you all can raise your hand if you've ever been stressed out. Yes. Uh, <laughs> thank you. And you, since you were the first person to raise your hand, if you'd like to come see me after tonight, uh, we will be giving you a free session with a friend. <laughs> all right. So clearly our problem that will be defined in our presentation outline will be stress related. Uh, we'll be going over our solution here at the relief room, the market that we are currently targeting, our competition, traction, a little bit about us, and lastly, our call to action as to why we're here tonight. Big problem, stress. We can all see a lot of hands went up into this room tonight, whether it's originating from professional or from personal resources, stress is a part of every day of our lives. Sometimes we actually harbor this stress physically within our bodies, uh, something that we're actually not always quite aware of, the tension in our shoulders, when clenching our jaw, so on and so forth. One of my favorite stories about discovering the tension in your body when you don't even realize it, we actually had one of our favorite customers come in, her and her girlfriend, seemingly for entertainment purposes. You know, it's kind of nostalgic to be able to go break stuff and not have to clean it up. Uh, she actually went in there, unbeknownst to me, there was a lot of crying and a lot of screaming, uh, a lot of emotions. She comes out, she's holding this trophy that I gave her, a bodybuilder uh, female trophy and it was completely demolished. Nothing intact but the right breast. So she comes to me and she's crying and she's shaking. She's asking me, please, can I hold this? Can I, can I keep this? I said, of course, you can keep this broken piece of trash, no problem. Uh, but it turns out that she was actually diagnosed with breast cancer. Uh, I didn't know that when she came in. Her best friend brought her as a gift. She was sad, she was defeated. She felt very depressed about her diagnosis. Uh, she didn't know she was angry about it. So she had thanked me for this opportunity to come into the relief room. She said she cried, she screamed, she laughed. Every emotion went through her and she discovered she was angry about it. And I felt really honored that she shared that story with me. So I felt the need to share that story with you. Uh, we do hold a lot of emotional tension in our bodies and we don't even know it. So our solution is a nonverbal form of, it's kind of a cathartic therapy. It is not necessarily a uh, certification for destruction therapy, but this is a new and upcoming uh, activity that has been actually popping up all over the United States. And it is our particular mission to really incorporate the community into our practices. We do a lot of recycling, we do a lot of counseling uh, referrals to give people alternate sources if they do find that they are in need of further assistance aside from just the activity. We like to refer them to other people who can help them on a psychological level. The next slide, I'll give you a little intro as to what happens in this room. So that way you can actually get a visual for what the relief room is and how we <laughs> operate here. So the little 10 second video of our monthly friends that like to come in on a regular basis. <laughs> so that's a little snippet as to what you'll see and expect when you come to visit us. So our, my, our market, our really our target market, are people that are really to relieve, release feelings of stress and anxiety and frustration. Um, we come to find that majority of those age groups run from about 25 to 45. Surprisingly, 70% of our customers are female. Yes, I know, it is very surprising. Uh, <laughs> and our median household income is approximately 100,000 or more, and that's really to allow for that, that extra expense to be able to enjoy themselves and or release the stress as a therapeutic purpose. So our current competition in this area, there are actually two mobile versions that have popped up since we've opened. And the biggest, uh, I guess, comparison to what we would like to offer above and beyond that is not only an indoor facility, that is about 3,300 square feet. We can also incorporate large groups, office parties, bachelorette parties. We've done a couple divorce parties, I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> so we do have a couple other things that we have to offer as opposed to doing a mobile version. Now the traction and relevant milestones that we've received here at the relief room is, I mean, this is kind of a crazy idea, let's be honest. Uh, so we definitely have quite a bit of attention when it comes to news and publications. Uh, we've currently obtained over 200 clients in our database, and our monthly sales have been increasing on average about 25% every month. So we've been doing fairly well um, after seven months of being in business. Again, a little bit about us on who we are. Our facility, again, is 3,300 square feet. 
Our largest party that we have had is 51 staff members. Um, so it is definitely a place that you can bring friends, family, coworkers. Um, definitely a group activity, to say the least, is quite enjoyable. And our team, my name again is Lisa Birmingham, and I have our co-owner Steve Cassano here. And we have over about 10 years of customer service and business management. Surprisingly, I had uh, 15 years in healthcare, go figure, that would drive me to open up a smash room. <laughs> and we do like to think ourselves as innovative, inspirational, and in touch with our business as well as our customers. Uh, so that does definitely come from quite a bit of years of experience with customer service as well. Now our call to action and why we're here today is not only to educate you on what the relief room is and who we are, um, but also that we are looking for referrals for group events and staff parties. It's something that we genuinely enjoy and we want to offer that to a multitude of different people and for different purposes. And secondly, we've had quite a few people knocking on our doors looking to open up to second locations. Um, so we are looking currently and actively um, seeking out investors and venture capitalists, knowing that we've been in business for about seven months. Usually you like to see about the good three years or so of financial analysis, but we do have quite a bit of opportunity at our door and we are looking for other people that might like our vision and where we're going with it. So aside from that, is there any questions that might be out in the office? Yes, what can I do for you? I have a relationship with SKL, which is a ball bearing company. Yes. And they need to do destructive testing on a number of items. Wonderful. Can we refer them to you? You want to do some testing, smashing, and uh, yes, absolutely. You can certainly refer them to us. I believe our business cards are on the back uh, table over there, so feel free to grab one and reach out anytime. Is there any other questions for the evening? Yes. What can I do for you, sir? How hard was it to find an insurance company that could understand what we were talking about? <laughs> in, in regards to trying to find an insurance company, I can honestly tell you it probably took me about seven months to get a, a landlord to hear me out because they thought I was nuts. And secondly, I don't fit in any box that exists across insurance, <laughs> anything. So yes, insurance was quite difficult. Um, so it was definitely probably the hardest thing that we had to acquire. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Is there any other questions tonight? No? All right, well thank you for your time. I appreciate your uh, willingness to listen to us.